Well, we've been out foraging this morning. We have a couple of baskets full of grace. Show yours. Of fireweed petals. There's a few leaves in there because you can dry those for tea as well. And we have found um, a brand new blackcurrant patch that we didn't, not blackcurrant, blackberry patch that we didn't know was there. So we've had to drive to come here. Um, there's been a lot more cars go past than we anticipated, but the fireweed isn't where the cars are, so that's okay. Um, so we're going to use some of this for drying for tea for the winter and for making jelly when we get back. Yum, the, the specific, the speci specified one. No, the one where he's singing in the rain. Oh. So we found fireweed. <laughs> Let go! There's a ditch there. We found fireweed. A ditch. Blackberries. A ditch. Are you okay? <laughs> the thing she does for fireweed. Um, we've just found some rome berries as well. And actually I found some black mustard, which is, I'm not getting that, but it was interesting to see. So we're going to come back in September time because that's when the rome berries should be fully ripe and get some of those as well there's absolutely hundreds um so plenty for the birds so hopefully you'll have seen from the video that we're we're not even making a dent in what's here so there's loads left for the bees um any foraging we do we do consciously for, for the animals as well so really pleased we found this place and there's car coming so i better get off the camera these are some fireweed flowers that we harvested or rose bay willow herb and some nasturtiums, nasturtium leaves. Uh, there's a few calendula at the end there as well. So this is my makeshift drying. It's an old quill pen. It's clean on this side. Um, and it's just a makeshift drying screen. So I want like a shower screen, like a soft, what you can just brush them across to, clear, to, to gather them up at the end. Because when you brush these, they get stuck in the holes. But I need something that's porous so that the air can go through from the bottom. But anyway, we don't have anything at the moment. These were just picked, so we're just leaving them like this to let the bugs escape. So before we start drying them or submerging them in any hot water or anything, give those poor little bugs a chance. But these will be left to dry for the winter and then they shall be finished off inside and they'll go into jars and everything to make um, to make some lovely herbal tea. But at the moment, my dehydrator is full. I just don't have the space. I thought it would do just as well in here and air drying probably takes a bit longer. But along with the rest of the items that are starting to build up, we need to get this need to get this room finished. But it's already taken good shape. We have six cups of fireweed flowers there. So what I've done is I let the um, I just rested the fireweed where you saw us put it on the racks in the little cold room there, um, and just left that for any bugs to get off. There's still quite a lot of bugs in them. Those tiny, tiny, tiny little black flies. So if you do this, be prepared. Um, anyway, I've stripped them off the stalk, so not the um, the seed bits, just the flowers and the top unopened pods. And I've stripped them off, put them in a silver, this silver tin, uh, bowl, whatever it is. And I've now rinsed them a couple of times under cold water and sieved it out. And I've got here about six cups of wet um, flowers, whether or not people measure them dry or wet, I'm not sure. But this is six good cups. And so what I've done is I've done six cups, so one and a half litres of water. And I'm literally about to put them in here. And we're gonna, I'm going to have to get those out with two hands. So I'm just going to boil this for five minutes, um, j just to make a tea, essentially, to get all of the goodness, the juices, the flavour out of the blossoms. And when we've got the tea, we will drain it using a muslin or a cheesecloth or whatever you've got to hand but it does need to be something fine to make sure that you catch those tiny little black flies. And then we will proceed to make our jelly, which is what we're making today. Some people might think it's not the prettiest, but it's um, all of the pretty juices have soaked into the water now. There's a few leaves in here, which is absolutely fine. So I'm gonna strain this twice at least. So I've got my bowl that's been cleaned out and I've got the sieve that I used originally um, when I washed them to, to drain out the water. So all I'm going to do is take this and pour it through this sieve. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take the contents of what's in here and pour it through a wet muslin, a sterilised muslin. The reason I'll use the wet, uh, a wet one um, is just so that this lovely tea doesn't soak up into the muslin and we lose it. You want the muslin to be wet so that everything just passes through. So I have 
quadruple layered this muslin in this um I've quadruple layered this muslin in this large colander, so I'm just going to pour the hot water kettle, which has just come to the boil, through it to wet it and to sterilise it, and then I'll get this uh, strained again back into the pan that it came from. I should say the reason that I've quadrupled it is, um, I mean, this is like a metre square muslin, maybe just under, so I folded it in half and half again, and it's just due to those little black flies. So I don't want anything to pass through that I wouldn't want to be drinking. Or looking at while I'm drinking or eating anyway so um yeah this is going to be a jelly so I'd like it to be a nice clear jelly uh, with the only color being that of the fireweed and not of any bugs or anything so I always sort of quadruple over when I'm doing anything like this and then I'm just going to let that drip through completely um and make sure that we capture every little bit you can't really see the color just yet because of the color of the pan but that is um it's to about a liter of juice I thought it would be about a liter and a half that's how much water I put in but I guess that's what's left in the flowers so which is why we need to leave it to soak through so that is quadruple strained and in here this is the original bowl with the colander the rag uh, the muslin and what's left in the um in the flowers so this still contains a lot of water and this needs to to push through so what you can do um a lot of people don't recommend but if you're in a rush you could push it through a little bit um i'm just going to leave that and it will strain through and strain through here and then i'll just maybe to top up to whatever i need i might just run hot water through this just to get the last of the bits of fireweed uh, boiling water but i certainly won't be doing a lot of that just maybe just a tiny little bit to top up to a liter if it's just under which i don't think it will be but yeah this this rag's got quite a bit in it as well and with, that's why we make sure that it's wet before we start straining the juice because we don't want to lose any to this. So now I shall just leave this for a while, leave this cool down because um, we don't want to be adding the pectin to it until it's cool and then we'll get on with the rest of the recipe. We've added the fireweed tea and the rest of the ingredients which I'll post below just as you would to make a normal jam. So this is coming to a rolling boil now so I'm waiting it for it to come to about 104 degrees centigrade. I'm not too fussed if it doesn't set because we'll just use it as a syrup. Um, I have tasted it and it's got quite an acquired taste actually so I'm, I'm not too sure if I'm sold on this one just yet. But anyway this is the process and I've got my jars sterilising and I shall get these, I shall get this jarred up just now. Honest. So Stephen's home from work and I want his honest opinion. This one has been in the fridge for a while and it's set up quite nicely. And he's making it look. Can I try some more? Yes. Can we taste me? Oh my god. You say that you about You say that every time. You say that about this is everything. Cool. Needless to say, Stephen probably isn't the best taste tester. He says everything tastes the same. I don't know if that's a reflection of his taste buds or of my cooking. Anyway, we've got three jars of fireweed jelly, which is fantastic. I've tasted it again since it's been in the fridge and I definitely don't dislike it, but it's not one of my favourites. So I said I would give an honest review. I think if it was fireweed and something else mixed, it would take the um, distinctive, distinctiveness of the flavour away, which for me isn't necessarily a bad thing. But if you like the taste of it, that's a really good thing. Now, the other thing is this jelly can be used in a variety of ways for me. So we, we add it to all sorts um, and other things that might take away some of that flavour as well. So it can even be the star of the show if you wanted it to be, or you can use it with other bits and pieces. So these guys here will 100% get used, probably not as quick as the strawberry jam and other things like that. But it's good to have them on the shelves. And I'm really pleased that I got this recipe done because I've been wondering for ages what it's like. But I won't be rushing out, mad dashing out to make jelly again. However, I'm still drying the leaves for the tea because I think with the tea, you'll be able to add other things as well. If the tea is as strong in flavour um, as the jelly is, then you'll be able to complement it with other, you know, chamomile or rosemary, other, lots of other different herbal things that you could add in there. And you could play with the sweetness and stuff as well. So I'm definitely going ahead and still making tea. Anyway, guys, this video has been all over the place. We've been foraging, we've been in the kitchen. You've seen the state of the kitchen while we're renovating still. Actually caught Stephen, who still does exist, even though he's not in many of the videos anymore. Poor vlog's working all the time. 
anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video um all part of the adventure for me if you'd like to see anything else specific please just leave a comment below and i'll do my best to get a video out on it because i'm always looking for new ideas lots of fun but for now thanks for watching i'll speak to you in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content like this